Welcome to a brand new video on the Freedom Channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to get the audios and if you want to have a mixer, then I will show you how to do this. So as you can see here, I've got four of these lovely little indicators of like my media, game, chat and mic. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove these so I can show you. So there is two mixers I'd recommend you guys having a go at and they're all free. First one is your still series. You can download the GG and then you can use your other headsets and stuff to connect to it because it has a sonar mixer the second one is voice meter potato i kind of used for when i used to do vr so i had to mix audios around another great tool to use free to download and the software i'm going to be using for my mixer is the still series as you can see here it's got loads of cool things it's even got its own setup for equalizers effects noise and different preset sounds if you don't want it Tample with the filters too much on OBS. And lastly, which I did forget to mention, if you go to file and go to settings, make sure you disable your audio. As you can see here, I've disabled them all because we're making a separate audio mixer. And then what you'll need to do in that one there. So I'm going to move that into the folder. I'm going to do that is uh, I'm going to have a look at which one I have. So, of course, I'm using Still Series microphone. And then we're going to right click and add again. But this time we're going to add audio capture. And as you can see, I've already got uh, the, the, uh, the other stuff ready. So let's put chat. Now, what I've done here, I've kind of turned it down. But what I want to do, so it's matching my voice as well as theirs to stick it on a filter so let's say they normally talk about minus 20 so that'd be perfect or if I want I'm just gonna give them a friendly voice so it'll be 18 so then it will cut from there so that's pretty good and then you can mess around with it so let's add another thing which is audio output so what I want to do is I'm gonna add my game now, depending on where you've got your sections of your mixers, for me, it already says sonar, and that's for gaming. I, te I tend not to use the audio filters in gaming stuff, because still Series has got the surround sound, and I kind of want to have, like, you guys with the sound as well, and make it a little bit more better than just have it on a kind of limit. Because if there's certain games that give you, like, bass sounds, it's just going to be really disgusting if you notice here I've made a folder which I, I like to have separately so when I close it it's not there so that's gonna move chat to and then move that in the folder then we're gonna add one more thing Uh, there it is and add the media and then bring it in there so now I've got the separate audio working um, got game chat uh, game working and then also your chat now just keep in mind when you go to properties just remember if you're going to be using a still series sonar and it's say media you're going to be putting things into the direction like that, like what I've done here. So again, if you want to mix around, like if, say for instance, media, you, you definitely want to kind of mess around with that. And then, you know, if you, if it gets too loud, you can put a, a limiter. And this is the cool thing because like over here, I've got to start, I can just add a mic and then maybe some background audio for when I'm about to start either streaming. And the thing is the other, uh, like, if you've got Discord friends, people can't hear it, which is great. So that's a little bit of a nice guide for the audio setup. I hope you enjoyed this whole video. And lastly, don't forget, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, go and check out the Heartbeat tutorials and guides, and it will tell you how you get paid and how much money you get and how much money I got last month. It's a free extension. It's not in the way. And 
there's plenty to talk about here on the Freedom Channel, so make sure you check most of some of the recent videos. Tune in again for another OBS tutorial. We've got many other videos coming up of how to get an alert for your streaming, how to change scenes. Don't forget, I will be showing you guys also how to do kind of image and media sources, so you can have like a kind of like a green see-through thing, so you can make things a little bit 3D. And that is Cornish signing out. Go and check out all the stuff that's happening. We've got MGN, the review company coming back. So it's going to be great. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.